Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Genesis if you're new and this is Wealthy On Purpose. And in today's video, we are going to do a very realistic budget of what the third week of September looks like over here. So if that's something you wanna do, you wanna catch up on your own cash stuffing, let's go ahead and get right into it. So we are always going to start with my wallet and we'll see if we have anything to unstuff. I honestly haven't had a chance to look at this this week so let's take a look so household has nothing remaining sage and cairo they still have some money um and i'm gonna just roll that over until i have to buy their food again gas is all empty miscellaneous is empty spending has five dollars so i will go ahead and allocate that to my savings and then groceries is empty so pretty much all empty this week. I don't think I have anything to put anywhere. I might put this $5 instead of my personal savings into my month ahead, but we'll see. So let's go ahead. I got to find my spending envelope because all of these are out of order. So for me and Oscar, we're both going to get $5. So that equals 10 for the week. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day thus far household is gonna go ahead and get 40 this week i need to do a restock just on some you know household items i was looking at some posts and it is so relatable that like tissue and cleaning supplies are like all 20 dollars. like when did laundry detergent become so expensive like i was like kind of shocked um sage and carol they'll be getting 45 so 20 40 and this very sad five so it now has 20, 40, 60, 85, and 90. I need to go ahead and book a boarding for them because I don't know if I've shared this yet, but we do have a trip planned um, early October um, and I've never been on a plane before. So it's going to be really exciting to kind of see what that's like. Gas is going to go ahead and get 35. Um, so if you've ever been on a plane, how has your experience has been? Gas now has 35. Poor, poor dollar bill back there. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of trying to prepare our house and everything because um, we will be gone for a good amount of time. Miscellaneous is actually not going to get anything this week. And then groceries is going to get its normal or I guess 75 and that is all that it has. I do need to do a grocery order. On Ordering groceries online has saved me so much money. Like I forget that like certain food exists just because it's not on my ingredients and I don't really need it. Um, I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, I haven't seen a pack of Oreos in so long because I never like look them up or anything like that. So that was kind of interesting. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to our bills binder um, and pretty much we've just been stuffing rent consistently so today rent is going to be getting four hundred and forty five dollars so we have one two three four twenty forty and five um, and i think we should be able to throw that back there all right so rent now has one two three four five six seven eight nine one thousand one, two, three, fifty, fourteen hundred, twenty, forty, and fourteen forty-five. I think that's correct. All right, now that rent is all stuffed, we can go ahead and jump into my short-term savings. We had a little bit more money to work with because my fiance worked Labor Day, so we're going to be stuffing some stuff in the short term. So to start, we're gonna stuff date night and date night is gonna be getting $45. We haven't really been eating out at all this month um, and 45 is all that it has. So we wanna do something for Oscar's birthday, which was yesterday, the day that you're seeing this. Um, we are also going to be stuffing shopping and shopping is gonna be getting $15. And that is all that it has. I just feel like I want to keep money in here because you just never know like when you're going to need something. 
And then Home Improvement will also be getting $15. And so Home Improvement now has 10, 15, and 20. All right, and I think that wraps it up for my short-term savings. Now we can jump into my long-term savings. I just love this. Um, wealth consists of not having great possessions, but few wants. It's just very reminding that, you know, it's not about the things in life. Anyways, now that I'm done getting sappy, um, car tags is going to go ahead and get $15. So car tags now has 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, 5, 65, and 170. So we're almost at the $200 mark, which is awesome. I've kind of been going really consistent with this. So I might, I don't know, I'll see where I'm at. For today's question, it's gonna be very cash stuffing focused. Um, I seen like a few different opinions on this, but do you think that you should pay off debt first and then create your savings? Or do you think you should save first and then pay off your debt? I know this is personal to everyone, so you can just put in your personal input. Um, but for me personally, I think since I was in debt, I just did a small emergency fund then I got rid of all my debt and now I'm just focused more on saving again. Um, but let me know what you did or let me know what you recommend to others when they're kind of going through this journey. I am very curious to know. All right, next we're gonna be stuffing $5 into medical. So medical now has 20, 30, five and 40. I really like desperately need to get my wisdom teeth removed and then I also need to order some supplements that I take every day. Um, so I need to kind of start contributing to this again. All right, and then Christmas or holidays is going to be getting $5. Right now we're just doing Halloween. I know it says Christmas, but bear with me y'all. <laughs> we're gonna be stuffing $5 in here um, and we have another tree. So Halloween now has 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And then Christmas still has 700. So we're doing okay so far. I mean, Halloween, we still have like, what, six weeks, six or seven weeks away. So I think we're on track. We really just need candy and maybe like one more decor piece. Um, which isn't really necessary, so we'll see. But I think we're all good. And then whatever I don't spend, I will just roll it on over to Christmas. And then for membership renewals, it's going to be getting $20 today. So let me go ahead and highlight that. And we'll go ahead and stuff a 20. I'm almost done with this challenge. I just have $40 left, so I kind of want to get the show on the road, so it has one, 150, and 170. And this is just for like any annual subscriptions I wanna start. And then we have a credit card with an annual fee, like our travel credit card, um, so that we also pay with this. Um, and I really want Spotify for the year because those little like subscriptions, they are so annoying to pay every month. Like I do not recommend. Like monthly subscriptions, every time I'm like, oh. I remember it exists and then for this five dollar bill i am gonna put it in my month ahead just because i love stuffing this every single time um and this is the only money i had left over in my budget to even put in here so let's find i think i'm just gonna put it in this five dollar one either that or this internet one what do i want to do I'll put it in car insurance, cause why not? We're almost gonna be able to complete a row on this one, which is crazy. I started this this month, I think, or maybe early last month. Um, so I think I wanna go through it every single month and then just deposit whatever I have so that I'm earning interest on it. But I'll see, cause it could become like a little bit bothersome to go through all of it, but 
All right, so now car insurance for my month ahead fund has $25. I currently pay $316 for two cars. I absolutely hate it, <laughs> um, but that's just our reality. I think it's gonna go down. I think it's super high because I'm young and then my fiance is on the insurance and he's also young. And if you are a young and male, for some reason insurance doesn't like you and so it spikes up the insurance. Um, and I have two cars and I live in California. So all the double whammies and I do pay 316, which really sucks. Um, let me know down below if you pay for your car insurance annually, like just the big fee. I'm really considering it. Um, our, our car insurance renews like next April. So I have a good amount of time, like six months, six or seven months um, to save up that full amount. But let me know if you think it's worth it. Um, is it something you do or do you just pay monthly? I'm very curious. Um, but that wraps it up for the month ahead fund and for today's cash stuffing. Thank you guys so much for always interacting. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We will be doing another giveaway at 1.5K. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. I also give away free savings challenges every week. Um, and I make it for one subscriber. So make sure you answer the question of the week in the video and then leave this emoji down below so you have a chance to win. Um, in terms of my finger, you guys, it's healing a little bit better, but my nails still look atrocious because I'm too scared to get them done. So we'll just rain on that. But for today's gratitude, just know the strongest soldiers usually have the hardest battles. So if you are a strong soldier out there, if you are the one constantly pushing and, you know, working towards your goals and obstacles keep coming your way, remember you're worth it. You're beautiful. And just because things don't always go your way when you want them doesn't mean it's not in your path. You just got to pivot and you got to keep working. Um, so, yeah, I thought I would share that. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next one. All right, babe. Stay well. Bye. Oh, come bank on it. You can put a hundred grand on it. Anything.